What's going on YouTube? This is LA Prepper and since ironically my Walmart product reviews get more views per video than a lot of other my videos and because everyone likes saving money and there are a lot of people that watch my channel that probably work somewhere or might work somewhere that they need steel toe to steel toe shoes too they might need two steel show man i'm struggling they might need two steel toe shoes too okay now that we've conquered that monstrosity of a sentence these are my brahma steel toed shoes they are a year old you can't really tell but there were actually tiny little crosses on all these little hexagons even with the hexagons they're pretty decent non-slip wise um, they were getting just a little bit worn i mean obviously they wore through the crosses but the hexes were still pretty solid keep in mind um, we have carts at work and they have brakes on them and you have to kind of step on it or kick it and so our toes, you can kind of kick some of them gently, but you're you're kind of putting wear and tear on the shoe every time you kick this stupid thing. Now, the toe, the stitching is actually all, as far as I can tell, yeah, the stitching is all held up. The parts of failure have been where the sole is glued to the front of the shoe here. So that's kind of coming off the front, and that's largely from kicking stupid carts. But the leather on the front is actually in really good condition. All the stitching is still there. You can see the leather ripped over here, which was probably me just being clumsy and running into a cart. Um, but the stitching, the stitching held and the, the fabric actually broke. So they're double, are they double stitched? No. Not every seam is double stitched, but a lot of the stitching around the base of the foot seems to be double stitched and they're mostly made of leather and cloth um they're advertised as steel toe leather oil resistant and slip resistant um i don't work with a lot of oils at work so i didn't have to worry too much about that um as far as comfort they were pretty comfortable for the first month but after that they sort of got a little less comfortable and I ended up getting rid of them not so much because the toe was kind of falling apart although that would have caused me to get rid of them eventually but they just my feet and legs and back and stuff started hurting a little bit now granted I put I don't know how many miles I walk at work maybe not that many but maybe a mile in a day I don't know I a lot of my work involves going from this I work in not like a huge, I work in a big building, but I don't, I don't walk around that much, but it's enough short trips that they sort of add up. So I don't know, a yard is what 5,000 feet. So if I make 50, 100 foot trips a day, that's 5,000 feet, you know, that's about a mile. So maybe I walk two thirds of a mile a day or something, bit of walking, but I'd, you know, they're $30. And the other shoes that I had were not slip resistant at all. And some of the stuff we do involves like a wet floor or water and such. So having the um, slip resistant was a big thing for me. And the steel toes kind of required my department. So the leather was just kind of good on durability and the oil resistant. I didn't end up using that much. But for 30 bucks, I'd say they'd be good for six months. Just buy another pair in six months. Um... For the comfort maybe you could do an insole or something like that to help but that's my review of the brahma steel toed shoe for thirty dollars i give it about three out of five stars um, it was functional i didn't slip they mostly held together and a lot of that wear and tear like i said was because of if you're not kicking carts like i am you know dozens a dozen times a day the toe probably would have held up a lot better so Till next time, like, comment, subscribe to keep saving money and keep prepping.